Kids need to know at the end of life, people die. Babies, do you want to go to a funeral? No! Who wants to see a dead body? Me, me! Yeah, I think I like clams. Mm. It's an acquired taste. <laughs> Did they say what happened? Well, it's hard to stop when you fell in the water. What are you? It's ridiculous. Oh, hey, hey how, how are you? you? How are you? Good, how are you? So talk about how you guys got together for this film. I wrote the script um, a number of years ago, and uh, first person I had in mind to uh, play the, the lead guy was Paul, and so I gave him the script. And uh, I read it and thought, absolutely, this is great. Uh, it was a really good script. I loved the idea of working with Ken. Um, and uh, so I say that for sure. I really loved Ken's script when I first read it, and I thought the the dialogue writing was fantastic, and there were great characters and great male characters, but also great female characters. So, you know, I love to direct good writing. That was the primary interest. So talk about <laughs> um, learning how to clam dig. It seems like it's kind of a simple thing, but it's really not. You know, you kn you have to know. You have to know which way the, the tide's going and which way the rake is going to be pulled on the on the bottom of the bay and you know if you if you dig too deep you know it's going to be hard to pull it up and there's a lot of things. Have you gone climb digging before? When my dad was doing it, they based the story in '76 because my dad was a clam digger on Long Island. I grew up on Long Island. And when he was doing it, I was a young young uh, a lad. Your character was was hilarious. Um, who were you portraying? Your father or not really? Else? I mean, uh, you know, the, the, the mustache was my dad. And the sideburns were my dad, but and the hair, but the uh, the temper was not not my father. But it wasn't based on anybody uh, in particular. It was kind of a, a bunch of different people kind of thrown together. What do you think should be the message people uh, take away from this film? The message. I don't think the film really has a super strong message, but I think the idea of the film is that you know personal, political, community change is an inevitable thing, and. You know, the sort of the test of your life is how you embrace that or learn from that or manage to move through that. If people come out and of, of the film and, and, and they had a, a good time for whatever, however long it is, 80, 90 minutes, and they enjoyed the characters, and then that's all I want. I freak out sometimes. <laughs> this is what I got to deal with every day. coming over because we've been looking at each other. You ruined it. Why'd you do that? What the hell was that?